Old Testament, grace, New Testament. We take that as a period and a period. The Old Testament, the grace, the New Testament was running together. Let's just put that there to make it easy. Always. There wasn't a time span of the law. And there wasn't a time span of grace. Grace was there all the time that the law was in operation. And law is there all the time that grace is in operation. It's not a time thing. It's a spirit thing. In the book of Corinthians, Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 10, I think he says, all the things that happened to the house of Israel, the happenings with Israel, was written down for our admonition for our warning, for our example. That's the words that's used in different translations. So a lot of things happen to the house of Israel under the time and dispensation of the law, if we can call it a time and dispensation, because that's how we saw it until now. Happened to them for examples for us, for admonitions for us, for warnings for us. All right? Yeah. When God said to Moses, he must build a tabernacle with an outer court, an inner court, or a holy place, and a holy of holies, and nobody could enter the holy of holies, it's things that every Christian is supposed to know, except the high priest, and he could only go in once a year, and that not without blood. Yeah. So you had to be of the tribe of Levi, you had to go through the offices of being a, a Levite, being a priest, being a high priest. The high priest was ordained, and he had to, 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 to uh, uh, be there in office for a time. And only the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies only once a year and not without the right cleansing and the right blood. Otherwise, he would not have been accepted and he would have been killed. But people like Moses, people like Joshua, people like Samuel, people like Elijah, people like David, Ezekiel, uh, etc., Many of those people were not of the tribe of Levi. Uh -huh. They went into the Holy of Holies without picking up trouble. So while the law was running, grace was running at the same time. While God made a law that said nobody can go in here if you're not a high priest and you can only go in once a year. If you do not, if you do not go in the right way, the right place, or the right office, you'll be killed. But grace was always there. So that people that understood grace, that understood God, that walked with God, could enter in without being killed, without an offering, without blood, just walking in. So I hope that that will help you. So go to Romans 11. This is going to be maybe a new era in the church after today, if somebody can see it. Verse 5 will help. It says, even so then, at this present time also, at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. God said when it comes to Israel, when God led them, through the wilderness, and he had the house of Israel till the time that Jesus came. 
there was the election according to grace. God says there is a remnant in this present age according to the election of grace. Because if it's by works, it will not be grace. And if it's by gr grace, it cannot be by works. Now listen to verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah. Who says verse 7 is past tense? Yeah. Right. 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 So he says in the present time, we get the remnant elected by grace. But even in the past, there were those that was the remnant. If what I'm saying is not true, how could Moses, Joshua, Samuel, how could those people go into the Holy of Holies without being struck dead? Right through the Old Testament, people that had meetings and revelations and visions of God that were caught up in the heavens. There were people that met with God in supernatural ways, greater than even people can meet with Him today or have met with Him today. So where they were always the remnant, according to the election of grace that met with God. He said, and even in the past, there were those that were blinded, but they were those that saw that God is gracious. Joshua and Caleb and a lot of young people did not die in the desert because they believed God and it was also counted them for righteousness just like Abraham. But the people that hardened their hearts and stood against God's grace and were so legalistic, they missed God and died in the desert. The Bible says, and they all died in the desert. They did not all die in the desert. There was a multitude that went over the Jordan River and took the land. So they did not all die. Who died? The people whose eyes were blinded. Who made it? The people who were elected by grace, the remnant. Start in Romans chapter 10. Amen. Brethren, with all my heart's desire and goodwill for Israel, I long and pray to God that they may be saved. Yeah. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Uh -huh. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, yeah. have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ, now listen carefully, church. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses describes the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth these things shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith Speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart. Who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with a heart man believeth unto righteousness and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. Now look this way. He says, there's two kinds of righteousness. One of the law. And number two, grace or Christ. Christ and grace, I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, uh, John chapter 1, verse 14 says, The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld His glory, the glorious of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and mercy. mercy yeah. All right? Or full of grace and truth, excuse me, full of grace and truth. The law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by yeah. Jesus Christ. So there's the law. 
that talks about Moses, and there's a grace that talks about Christ. Now it says, the righteousness of the law is actually your own righteousness. And Isaiah says our own righteousness are as filthy rags. But the righteousness which is of grace speaks. It says, the word is near you. It's in your heart and it's in your mouth. For we used our mouth to confess. And when we said, Jesus is Lord, we were saved. Okay, now he says the righteousness speaks in this way. Are you back there at Romans chapter 10? Mm -hmm. It says, Say not in your heart who shall ascend into heaven, or say not in your heart who shall descend into the deep, but what saith it? Mm -hmm. See? So you must not say, where can I get it? How will I get it? Right. It must be something that is in your heart, and you must say it. This sermon that I'm going to give you, this is why they stoned Stephen. Yeah. If you go to chapter 6, it says, Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost, did great signs and wonders under the people. Remember? And then he started preaching. Listen to verse 35 to 38 in the Amplified. It was this very Moses whom they had denied, disowned, and rejected, saying, Who made you our ruler, referee, and judge, whom God sent to be a ruler and deliverer, and redeemer, by and with the protecting and helping hand of the angel that appeared to him in the bramble bush. Moses was rejected and disowned by the house of Israel because he was sent as a deliverer and a redeemer by the hand of Almighty God. He is the one who led them forth, having worked wonders and signs and in Egypt uh -huh. and at the Red Sea. Now, if you go to Acts chapter 2, everything that I read here about Moses is written there about Jesus. That's right. wow. How he was approved with signs and wonders. Yeah. How he let them forth as a deliverer, redeemer. How he was sent by the hand of Almighty God. Verse 37. It was this Moses who said to the children of Israel... God will raise up for you a prophet from among your brethren as he raised me up. Yeah. Yeah. This is he who in the assembly in the wilderness was the go-between for the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai and our forefathers and he received living oracles, oracles that still live to be handed down to yeah. us. Okay. Yeah. This is why they stoned Stephen. Deuteronomy 29, chapter 29. Verse 29 the secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but the things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Now remember, we know that through the epistles over and over it says, the secret things have now been revealed. But the Bible says, even in the time of the law, they could get a revelation. Verse 1, chapter 30. And when all these things have come upon you, and the blessings and the curse which I have set before you, and you shall call them to mind among the nations where the Lord your God has driven you, and you shall return and obey the voice of the Lord to do all His commandments. Verse 9 says, And the Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous. <laughs> Verse 11. For this commandment, which I command you this day is not too difficult for you, nor is it far off. Now look this way. We know that the law was difficult and they could not keep the law. So here comes God through his prophet Moses and he says, but I'm going to give you a commandment. Now don't Get a fright for the word commandment and put that in the law. For Jesus said over and over, a new commandment give I you. For this commandment which I command you this day is not too difficult for you nor is it too far off. It is not a secret 
laid up in heaven. What did 29 verse 29 says? Secrets belongs to the Lord. But if it's revealed, it belongs to us. Now God says, I will give you a commandment that's not a secret laid up in heaven. That you should say, who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it to us? That we may hear and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear and do it. But the word is near you, in your mouth, and in your mind, and in your heart, so that you can do it. See, I have set before you this day life and good, and death and evil. Who says that I've just read Romans 10, 1 to 11, equals Deuteronomy 29, verse 29 through 30, the whole chapter, running simultaneously. Okay, how many can see what I'm trying to say? Remember, when the spies came back from the promised land in Deuteronomy or Numbers 12, 13, and 14, they said, 10 said, we cannot take the place. It is good, but there's giants. Joshua and Caleb said, the Lord said. So we've got the word in our hearts. Now we're going to speak it out of our mouth. It's the word of faith that we believe. So when we speak it, we will be righteous. So we are the righteous. So we say, if God said we can take the land, let's go take the land. So they were the remnant. Not according to the law. Because the righteousness of the law does not speak this way. The righteousness which is of grace says, speaks this way. Do not say, who shall go to heaven to get us? This word, who shall go down? Who shall go overseas? Who shall go there? Who shall go here? He says, no, no, no. That's not the righteousness which is of faith. That is legalistic. That is law. But the word which is of faith, the righteousness which is of grace, the thing that we receive because of Christ, speaks this way. The word of God is near you, in your heart and in your mouth to speak it. So if I speak this word... This is the word that God will honor. This is the word that will make me righteous. This is the word that will put me in the remnant. This is the word that will make me the elected. This is the word that puts me in the grace. And that is past, present, future. Don't care whenever you live. It's not law. It's not grace. It's not a time period. It's a spirit period. Do I see the revelation that secrets are for the Lord? But if the secret is revealed, it's for us. God revealed the secret. To David, Joshua, Moses, Elijah, yes. right through the Old Testament, they received the secrets yeah. of God. And they took the word, spoke the word, and they were elected because of grace and not because of law. Verse 20 of Romans 10 says, But Isaiah says, He's very bold. He says, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not of me. But to Israel he saith, all day long I have stretched out my hand unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. We just read in Deuteronomy what Moses said for those that will take the word and speak it. And live. And be blessed. Okay? Because he said the word are life or death, blessing or cursing. The law is as strong today as it was when Moses came down the mountain. And so is grace as strong today as it was when God appeared unto Abraham and said, Abraham, leave your country and you'll be blessed. Now Isaiah says something. Verse 16 says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. Now, I want you to hear, the word used here is gospel, not law. 
Look at me, church. They did not all believe the gospel. Who? Israel. When? In the time of the law. Again, I use the word time because that's how we still see it till today. They did not all believe the gospel or obeyed it. For Isaiah says, Who hath believed our report? So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, they have. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know Moses spoke it? And then Elisha spoke it. So he says, the gospel. Now we know Romans or Galatians 3, 8 says the gospel was first preached unto Abraham. But now if we take the context though, Moses preached the gospel. Isaiah preached the gospel. Isaiah, Moses, they brought this word of faith. Is that right? Now it says, and this word went throughout all the earth to all the people, but help me, Holy Spirit. They did not all obey. In other words, there were always a remnant. Of elect by grace. Isaiah said, they did not believe the report. So faith, this I touched on a few weeks ago. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Which word? The report that Isaiah brought. Because the context in those two verses, Isaiah said, Lord, who shall believe our report? So faith comes by hearing the report. And if I believe the report and speak it out of my mouth, the righteousness which is of grace will be my portion. So let's check out the report again. Isaiah 53. Who has believed our report? So, so it must be with this in mind that Paul wrote Romans 10. Yeah. Yeah. But it must have been with Deuteronomy 30 in mind that he wrote Deuteronomy 10. So Paul must have looked at the two and saw it as one and put yeah. it together. Yeah. Yeah. Because he wrote it in one sitting, uh-huh. taking Deuteronomy 30, Isaiah 53, and said this is the righteousness of faith. Yeah. This is grace. This is mercy. This is Christ. This is speaking faith. Amen. Let's read verse 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was wounded for our transgressions. You transgressed against God. You had iniquities in your heart. Jesus was wounded for your transgressions and bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. He was chastised for our peace. That is for your soul, man. Because if you haven't got peace in your soul, your whole life is in an uproar. By his stripes, we were healed. So the word is near you in your heart and in your mouth. That is the gospel that Moses and Isaiah and Abraham preached. So if I take this word and believe the report and then speak it, the righteousness which is of faith will be my portion. So I got to say it. 